Okay, today we're going to be introducing a ball watch. Ball watch company started in 1891. Uh, they're responsible for not only great watches, but also for the term on the ball, like when someone's on time, as well as the terminology accuracy under adverse conditions, obviously referring to their quality timepieces. This particular watch we're going to be introducing is the Ball Fireman Storm Chaser DLC Glow Watch. And let me just step back here for a minute. This watch uh, is on a uh, black rubber strap with white stitching. It has a loop and tang buckle insignia by Ball Watch. I don't know if you can see that. And the case of this watch is a 43 millimeter diameter case. It is a DLC coated case. DLC stands for diamond like coating, also diamond like carbon, it's also known as. It's a very hard and wear resistant coating which gives the watch also a black, um, gives the watch case a black appearance. This watch is a chronograph with a day and date display. Uh, the diameter of this case is 43 millimeters. It's approximately 15 millimeters thick. Uh, this watch is a limited edition. There's only 1,999 of these watches made worldwide. And the watch movement is an automatic movement running on a ETA 7750. Okay, this watch, let me just see if I can zoom in a little bit here. This watch features a day and date display. It's a chronograph, which I should reset. There we go. The chronograph function is started by this push button right here. The pusher starts the chronograph, and you push this button again. It stops the chronograph, and you push this pusher down here, and that resets the chronograph. The bezel of this watch features a tachometer display with graduations and those graduations for the tachometer are for use of measuring a speed of an object over a given distance. On the inside bezel of this watch, let's see if I can show you that, there's a telemeter, telemetry type scale on the inside and I'll see if I can zoom in a little better to show you that let's see there we go and that scale is used for measuring uh, the distance of a phenomenon which is both visible and audio audible uh, for example if you're in a, see a storm in the distance and you see the flash of lightning and then uh, when you see the flash of lightning you would start this chronograph type timer and once you start it it would start the telemetry distance scale and when you actually uh, heard the thunder you would push this, the button again here and that would give you the distance away from you where the storm is located let me reset that. This watch uh, also has a good amount of tritium gas tubes on the dial. These are actually glass tubes that are filled with uh, tritium gas and then sealed, uh, which uh, allows this watch, even though it's an automatic and it does not run on batteries, this watch can be seen at night. Uh, all these tritium gas tubes glow. There's tubes on the hands as well as around the circumference area of the dial. Uh, it's actually 66 micro gas tubes on this watch and they last about 25 years. Uh, 66 is 
one of the higher quantity tritium gas tube ball watches. It's a great feature of these watches. Um, this watch is also 5000 G's shock resistance. Has a pretty good shock resistant level. And it has a 100 meters of water resistance. And it has uh, screw in crowns as well as pushers. And on the back of this watch, this is a solid stainless steel screwed on back. And this uh, case back uh, plays a tribute to uh, Ball Watch Explorer Dr. Josh Warman. And this, this image here, this engraved image, is uh, the engravement of the Doppler on wheels used for uh, storm chasing, you know, like you see on uh, TV on Discovery Channel. That's a tribute to them. And there's the limited edition number engraved. Uh, this is number 713 out of 1999. So it's a very nice timepiece. Uh, the ball watches uh, when you buy from an authorized dealer such as About Time Watch Company you receive a three-year ball factory warranty. So that's a very nice looking watch and it has some nice style and that's a once again a black rubber strap with red, uh, red stitching and a uh, loop and tang buckle.